What's going on guys? Yay! <laughs> For anyone who know me, welcome back to my show. This is Higher Bunch and Fire Bunches. And for anybody who's new, welcome to my channel. This is Ram, your personal helpful consultant for any job application, job interview preparation questions. And today I actually got some special background right there. Okay, that's some bonfire. Really, really interesting. And it's related to our channel's uh, theme. Hire a bunch of fire bunches. Anyway. <laughs> And my motion capture kind of working better now. Yay! Sup? 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 <laughs> anyway, let's get back to what are we supposed to do. So today I have a really, um, I would say, interesting show because it's the main subject for this show is basically uh, once per year, right? That's the uh, the one and the only Nobel Prize 2022. And I have picked up two interviews. Uh, one was done by the uh, committee member, uh, the professor, and the also one also a professor, but she's the own uh, winner of one of the prizes, right? And let's see what we can learn from those giants, great people, winners. Okay, that's the point. We always learn from the winners, and we don't worry about what the losers is talking about you. We are winner. We have the winner mindset. That's what we need. And before all that, make sure you guys, hey, anyone who's watching this video that is not on YouTube, make sure you guys check my, uh, hey, this one. Check this logo, okay? Check this logo. Check the names on YouTube. High bunch, fire bunches. That's my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys go to YouTube. Check my other videos. And subscribe if you like it. Ah, you can subscribe if you don't like it. Make sure you comments what you don't like. Okay? Hire a bunch of fire bunches. So, we're gonna have uh, the first interview. What's he talking about? Let's see. Oh my gosh. That's the uh, quantum mechanics. What, what the hell is this is? Quantum mechanics. Uh, I guess some of you doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't even know. Uh, either one <laughs> but that's okay because uh, this wonderful person gonna talk about what the quantum mechanic is in a very specific way and that's that's what we what we going to learn about right that's the point of this video and let's check it out all right here we go so first of all this is the uh this is the main uh this is main interviewees uh his name is Thor Thors, but some people call him Thors Hans Hansen. Um I think he's Swedish, but whatever. He's a um, professor right now at Stockholm um university who's teaching theoretical physics and of course um quantum mechanics is part of uh stream of uh physics, theoretical physics. And uh, that's his uh, bio. And I'm going to put the link to his bio down below so you guys can see it. Okay. And let's see the videos. And here we go. A little introduction first. And then we have the very first question asking. Hans Hansen, member of the Nobel Committee, please explain what is this year's prize about? This year's prize is about quantum mechanics. And I'm sure you've heard of quantum mechanics. And it usually is portrayed as something which is sort of very weird, very mystical. And it's true, there are weird and almost mystical aspects of it. But this year's prize is for work that has made clear what quantum mechanics really means. And the really sort of funny thing with quantum mechanics is that normally you think when you have, if you have sort of say billiard balls or something, you have one ball here, you have one ball there, you have one ball there. And you can look at this ball and you can say, is it red or yellow or white? And you can look at it and it's red, yellow and white. It has nothing to do with the other balls. And then you can look at one or the other and see, what color does that have? In quantum mechanics, it works differently. Mm -hmm. You can have quantum mechanical states which are called entangled. And then, when they are entangled, then you cannot just look at this one and say it's yellow without somehow affecting what's yep. happening to the other one. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very strange property of quantum mechanics. 
And what this, this year tries to slowly edge the down is to sort of and make us understand a bit better about what is going on, understand more about the nature, this peculiar feature of continent. All right, wonderful. Thank you, sir. So he, his question uh, that he was asked is, what's this year's prize as well? And then he started talking about what quantum mechanics. And that's actually the core question that we need to learn from. How to answer is, when you were asked, yeah. <laughs> when you were asked some question like this, make people like this, uh, I don't know what that is. When you were asked to explain uh, some concept, uh, let's say, you were asked by a your future hiring manager about one of your work you have done or your achievement, a very theoretical or very uh, technology technical uh, concept or technical achievement, and what you should do might be following up with these two strategies uh, takeaway that we have from this interview by Professor Thor Hansen, is that when you explain something. Uh, supposed to be complex, but you want to make it short and 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 and, and um, concise. You can start using metaphor. I mean, and and this example that Professor Hansen did, he was using a balls, right? Thousand balls, different colors, uh, to be metaphor of what quantum mechanics means. Um, I'll put link below for the uh, original video, so you guys can go back and see. But basically, he was using metaphor. And I mean, we can use it as well, or we can use uh, some practical life examples. Like when you ask about some project, you can say, oh, this project is not that easy, but you can say it's a cooking process that you cook chilies, right? And the starting process is you have to pick up your uh, materials for cook, right? So it's basically as same as what I did at the beginning of the project. And then you can go on moving forward, right? So that's pretty much how the strategy that Professor Hansen used to explain what the quantum mechanics is and it will be similar for you guys when you ask such a um, very opportunity to explain somebody who is not familiar with the subject but you have to do it right so using basics using example to explain a little bit about basics and then leave the blanks to others. Make sure they will be curiosity right there to keep asking you other questions so they, they can digest the content. And also you will find opportunity to show show off, quote unquote, your skill set and competencies for this new job. Well, I did actually, I done some examples, uh, answer questions with my playlist for 100, 100 interview question challenges. I'll put a link right there. Oops, right there. Make sure you guys check it. Okay, great. So, um, just like this girl, make everybody curiosity. Make about everybody curious about your answers so that I can push for for another question and answer. Now, the next one will be kind of interesting because this is from a winner of the prize of organic chemistry. And um, her name will be uh, Caroline Bertozzi. Uh, all I know is she's American, so she doesn't have much accent, and she's currently working for Stanford University for, I believe, for uh, uh, biochemistry, some sort of subject, but I'll put link down below for you guys to check her. And here we go with her interview questions. Well, first of all, it's some intro. Hello, this is Carolyn. Well, hello, this is Adam Smith calling from NobelPrize.org. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine. I was told you would call, which is great, because my phone is like been ringing, 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 ringing with, um, I think, Swedish, you know, media people. Oh, yeah. I think the, world, um, the world's media will be onto that phone pretty soon. <laughs> all right. I am not going to disclose my phone to any media people, man. That's just terrible. But I think uh, the questions start here. Just a huge honor for me. You're such a serially inventive person, um, you know, um, introducing bioorthogonal chemistry in 2003 and you've started many companies and you seem to have such energy for um, new directions. What drives you through all this? Well, I, you know, I, I love organic chemistry. Okay, what drives you through this? Why do you choose this career? Why do you choose this path? Why do you choose this company? Why do you choose this job? Here we go. I'm fascinated by biology. Um, you know, I've, like, like all of us, you know, I've had family members and close friends who suffered from ailments that mm -hmm. um, 
were so untreatable. You know, Interest like, so, and you know, it was always goals. My hope that um, hope. as a scientist, you know, I could make some contributions that might benefit human health, either in the near term or the long term, or not even necessarily in my lifetime. But you know, very good. That was that was always my goal. Um, and I like teaching, and you know, I like working with um, people who share my passion and are, who I can, you know, help with the wisdom of my age. I guess. <laughs> okay, great. That's about it. So. You guys get that? Okay, let's uh, do a little review as we did for the first one. Pretty much, uh, Professor Patrozzi, uh basically when she when she was asked this question, why you choose this career path, why you this, why do this, why done this, why achieve this, pretty much she shared the experience from within her heart, right? Basically, that's a part of his life background or educational background, whatever you want to say, background. And also share a little about a life goal, passion, somebody who's trying to achieve in the lifetime, and also lead other people with her or his passion to achieve that goal, right? So by doing this, when you ask a question, answer it, you will be naturally and persuasive, you know, just like this girl. So pretty much the strategy is first of all share with other people that okay, this is my interest. And then I'll make it my lifetime goal to achieve by improve myself along this career, along this job. Okay, guys. So basically, um, I'm pretty much done with the video interview review right now. But um, always, I'll put link down below for you guys to check the original uh, video from YouTube for the interviews, right? But um, hey, I hope you guys learn from these uh, two interviews. The two、uh, questions and how you answer, and how you use strategy, right? Learn from the the giant. So, like or dislike, make sure you guys comment below and make sure. Oh, check my social,、uh, IG, Twitter, and same old, same old. If you like, subscribe and、uh, share. <laughs> Again, this is Ram.、Uh, just hire a bunch of fire bunch. I'll see you when I see you next episode. Peace out. Hey.